Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're talking about M-Style VCR. All right, on to the tutorial. Once you have downloaded M-Style VCR via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your titles. M-Style VCR comes with a bunch of different overlay effects, some typography, and again, some transitions. So let's take a look at these. These are working as adjustment layers. So the first thing I'd like to do is give it a little bit of a glow. So let's go to our glowing edge. We can click and just drag this in on top of the clips that we want to affect. And again, as you can see, because these are working as adjustment layers, it is going to transfer over onto any of the clips that we have selected here or that we have uh, with the adjustment layer going over top of them. So I'd like this to be on top of the entirety of my video. So I'm just going to drag that out and now you can see that we have that glow over the entire thing. Over in our inspector, we can see we have animations in and out, and then we have glowing edges range, along with the mix and the horizontal, and then we've got a glowing channel that we can glow only on red, we can do green, blue, or we can do all three of them. But of course, if you add them all together, it's just gonna be a pure glow and it's just gonna be white little fun bit of information there so now we can also go and check out we've got some different ghosting some color noise we've got flicker film dirt uh let's go ahead and add some flicker onto this shot too so the cool thing about this is you can stack them and now you can see that we're just having some flicker going on this clip is actually off on x so let's just change that really quick to zero there we go and now we can see we've got that flicker going across all of our shots, but maybe we only want flicker on this one. Well, again, these are adjustment layers, so you can simply drag them uh, however you have those desired. Over in our inspector, we have animations again, in and out. We have flicker mode. We can do rolling or full screen flicker. And then we have the flicker gap size and amount. Uh, along with the opacity so you can see here if we wanted to look at that opacity and then we can look at how that gap size is working and that gap blur and then we can just bring that flicker back down a bit and now you can see that that's just kind of rolling across we also have some static some grain so why don't we grab i thought this one was really cool i used this on this shot in our intro there so we're just going to use this viewfinder here so you can see that that just gives the viewfinder overlay. We do have on-screen controls there for position, scale, and rotation. And something else I'm gonna add on top of this, I used our frame on top of the entire video to give it a four by three look. Just going to bring that all the way across. We've got some on-screen controls here that we can just adjust really quickly. And then of course, over in our inspector, we have all of the information and goodies that you want to fine tune those so i wanted to show you on our viewfinder we can see that now our viewfinder corners are being cut off due to this frame if you go over in your inspector you can see the viewfinder corners adjustment and if you go on x and you just drag that down you can see that you can now adjust the width of those and you can bring those in so that they make sense with your frame. So now those just kind of animate in, really cool. Animate back out, nice. There is fantastic typography as well. So you can see our frame kind of animates in along with our glow, that's really cool. Uh, you can check out these different bits of typography by scrubbing over each one and you'll get a real-time preview in your canvas. I liked this one a lot, so I'm just going to drag that in on top and let's adjust our title there. So just like all titles with Motion VFX plugins, you do have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. Over in our inspector, we have all of the position, scale, rotation, along with our fonts. You can add distortion, turn it up, take it away, tape effect, shadow, etc. 
and then you can change the text as well of course so really nice all of that just kind of animates in together and then animates back out into our next scene then we've got our flicker we have our viewfinder there so this is looking really cool really vcr-ish we can add a tape roll if we would like now the tape roll i'm placing beneath our frame there so notice these are going in stacking layers stacking water but we've got it and it's just going to roll constantly non-stop so the shorter the tape roll the faster that is going to move as you can see here over in our inspector really simple we've got roll direction either up or down and then we've got roll speed so if you wanted it to go really fast you could just turn it up and it's going to go really quickly or of course we turn it down a bit and it's going to go a little slower nice we can add one of my favorites which is tape waviness so we can add that in there as well we're adding that beneath our frame and you can see we've got just a bit of a wave going on yeah awesome and then our final little thing that i wanted to show you all so i'm going to keep my frame there uh, on this one it was a lot of fun i just went into my clip i did option f to add a freeze frame bring my frame down a bit we can add tape waviness over top of that frame we can bring our glowing edges in and then i actually want that hit to be a little more centered so i'm going to grab both of these clips just move them over on x and you can see that i'm moving those beneath our frame so you can reposition things as long as you're happening keeping that beneath your frame there then you're good so now we get the the very awesome hit that is at the end of a lot of videos boom there we go i also added the distortion over top of that so we've got distortion happening as well bam there we go it's like it's paused or something and of course over in our inspector we have all of the goodies that come with that and let's not forget about our transitions so now we can just go in and you can scrub over these transitions and you can see how they're going to affect these clips to apply just click and drag in between your clips here so i'm just going to add a few in between all of these and you can see that they're going to happen and move beneath our title layers which are having the frame and all of that stuff beneath our adjustment layers so really really awesome over in our inspector for roll we have animation direction up or down we have roll strength you can go from none all the way to extreme and let's see what extreme looks like here oh yeah really really nice and then we've got waviness static duration and chromatic aberration then we can move into our next transition here which is the glitch transition we have transition mode we can have smooth or cut and then we have distortion strength that we can adjust we have waviness tape color and then static here we have our fast forward we have transition a acceleration and b acceleration we have a transition mode we can have smooth or cut we have the transition brightness so you can adjust that however you see fit then we have our opacity distortions and prisms so what i really like about the tape roll is you can use that in conjunction with transition so you can make it roll along with your transition so that's really really cool then this final one we can look at is our noise and we've got saturation and then we have waviness chromatic aberration turn on or off overexposure distortion and then we have our strength scale saturation brightness and blur so really quickly we were able to put this little story together let's check it out nice and there you have it thank you so much for checking out m style vcr now available on motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one